This is the Building a Lifestyle Business Podcast, where we inspire solopreneurs like you to win back your life by teaching you how to build businesses that maximize your freedom, flexibility, and income, all without trading time for money. Here's your host, Nick Murphy. Hey there, my friend, and welcome to the Building a Lifestyle Business Podcast. My name is Nick Murphy. I'm your host. Thank you for being here and hanging out with me on today's masterclass. Today's masterclass is brought to you by the fine folks over at Podigy. One of the things I hear about all the time in terms of feedback from this show is just how good the audio quality is, how my guests sound, how I sound, the fact, and you podcast power listeners know that one of the great things about good audio quality is you're able to focus on the message. You're not distracted by these breaks or these weird sounds and these things that are just in your your AirPods if you're me or over your Bluetooth speaker or however you listen. It's just distracting when you have bad audio. Let me let you in on a little secret. I don't do my own audio editing. I don't even write my own show notes. I outsource all that to the guys at Podigy because let's face it, they are way better at it and more qualified to do it than I am. So if you're a podcaster or an aspiring podcaster and you are are like me and don't want to deal with having to learn that or trying to do it as professionally as you want your show to sound, do what I do and check out the guys over at Podigy. Daniel and Riley do an amazing job for me and I'm sure they'll do the same for you. I'm pretty fired up about the topic of today's masterclass. It's all about acquiring new customers. If you're a solopreneur, if you have a lifestyle business and it's just you, or maybe you and a VA or you and a partner, everything is on you. And so you're looking for strategies and tips and tricks and ways and hacks to make sure that you can go out there and and not just build a group of customers that might want to buy from you, but actually engage those people when you have an offer, when you launch a new product, when you have something that you know can solve a problem uh, that they face. There's a whole lot of buzz out there about social media and, and growing Instagram accounts and getting followers and doing these things. And at the end of the day, all the data still points to one specific way to make a lot of money in marketing as a solopreneur. And it's one marketing channel that you need to get really, really good at. Any guesses? It might sound archaic. It's 2019. It's still email marketing, guys. Building a viable list, building a list of qualified people that you know you can serve, that have self-identified, that they want to hear more from you, they have a problem, that you're uniquely positioned to solve, having those people able to access your information via their email, which let's face it, most times is going to come right to their phone. How many of you do anything besides sleep without your phone right next to you or in your pocket or in your purse? Not me. So if you can get in front of your ideal customers within minutes on the most personal device they have, and you know that the right people, sounds like a win-win, doesn't it? So on this masterclass, what I want to do is actually walk you through a five-step email sequence that is designed specifically and scientifically to engage your ideal customers in a way that makes them take the action that your email sequence wants them to take. That might be subscribing to a podcast. I might be buying a course. I might be buying a book. It might just be downloading a, a new lead magnet or getting into a video series. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. This sequence is scientifically proven to work. So what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode is actually walk you right through those email types, some of the subject lines, and actually read you some examples that I've written for my course and give you guys some insight into kind of how to do this. So I want to tell you the structure and the, and the science behind why these things psychologically work. And then I actually want to read you real copy. All right. So we're going to make a couple assumptions in the interest of time. The assumption is that your person reading this email has downloaded something from you, whether it's a lead magnet PDF, they've opted into something, they've taken a quiz, they've taken some action where you need to send them something via email to both confirm their subscription and also deliver on what you promised. So the very first email just needs to have something that identifies that there is a download inside. So either the name of your lead magnet, whatever it is that they're expecting, some kind of confirmation, that needs to be right there in the subject line so that they actually open it. A few things to remember on this email, all you're doing in this first sequence is delivering the email. It's delivering the lead magnet and what you promised. So there should be very little text in this email and it should really add a ton of value and, and show how that lead generator is going to solve that customer's problem. After all, that's what they opted into. They don't want to hear a big, long sales pitch from you right now. All they want is access to the thing that they said they wanted and how it's going to help them. At the end of the day, if all else fails, just remember in this email that you're literally giving away free stuff. So do not oversell them. So what I'm going to do now is actually read you the email, the first email in the sequence for those people that are interested in buying my course. I'm going to leave out, out the name of the lead magnet to make sure that it's relevant for you guys, but this will help you a lot. Hey there, thanks for requesting the, the insert the name of your lead magnet here. I'm so glad you're here. Let's dig in, shall we? Click here to get started. And right after that, they just have a button to download. So whatever the thing is, they're able to access it, download the PDF, see the video, whatever it is, we go right below that. 
And then you get into why you think they requested it, right? So you know what they requested. You have a good idea of the problem they're trying to solve. So here it is. My guess is you requested this, this, you know, there's the name for one of three reasons. You've worked really hard in your career, but you're disappointed with how slowly you're climbing the ladder. Two, the effort you put in and the things you sacrifice in your personal life don't seem to be recognized or appreciated. Or three, you want to, and then right here, you can insert something really clever from within that lead magnet. And if it's a video and you have like a, a blooper reel at the end uh, or something funny you do or you, you put on something ridiculous, that's a good place to just kind of bring a little little levity to it and make sure that that you're personifying who you are in your offer. And it's not just all business. It's a great opportunity there to, to kind of be a little silly. After you've gone through those three pieces of value they might want from your lead magnet, uh, you go into this paragraph. However you got here, know this. You're one step closer to winning back your life by creating and growing a lifestyle business that changes your trajectory forever. And then I just sign it to your success, Nick. So if you see what we did there, all we really did was go through the deliverable. You know, Here's some reasons or some things, some outcomes, some problems that you're having that this lead magnet should solve for you. Here's access to it. And no matter what happens, even if I miss the three, maybe I didn't hit yours, whatever your reason for being here is, you are one step closer to achieving your outcome. Email number two is really a problem plus a solution. And you really want to be specific when you're identifying your customer's problem. You need to make sure that that's actually a pain point that's going to resonate with your customers. If you miss the problem, if the people downloading this or getting this email don't feel the problem you're talking about, guess what? They're going to check out at best and probably unsubscribe if they're not the right fit. Once you've identified the problem, you have to position your product or your offer as the solution to that problem. That's why it's called problem solution. And you do that by identifying the really, really tangible, specific benefits that you or your product are going to deliver to help them solve the problem that you that you articulated. All right, so I'm going to read you this one. I'm going to do this quickly. Uh, it says, hey, pop quiz. If you have to trade time for money, what will you never have? If you downloaded my free resource, you know the answer is freedom. Why? Because in order to earn a living, you're forced to give up your most valuable asset, your time. To make matters worse, the more, quote, successful you become, the less time you'll actually have for yourself, your kids, your health, your relationships. As Lily Tomlin once said, the problem with the rat race is that even if you win, you're still a rat. Are your priorities aligned? Are you spending your work life making someone else wealthy on your watch and allowing your hopes and dreams to die as a result? If you need help creating a business that gives you back your freedom without sacrificing your livelihood, join me inside my online course, and then I name the course there. I'll help you conceptualize, strategize, and launch a lifestyle business that gives you back your freedom and provides you with the eject button you've been looking for at work. This 60-day video course will dramatically improve every aspect of your life by freeing up your time and energy to refocus it on the things that matter most to you, your health, your family, your happiness, and your financial success. You'll feel the results almost immediately as you stop sacrificing your goals and start achieving your dreams. To your success, Nick. Not a hard sell. It might sound hard salesy, but when you actually analyze the copy there, it's very, very specific. What is the problem? The problem is I have this job that sucks all my time, and so I'm not really free to spend it with my family, to build this business, to just rest and recover because I can, I'm freaking stressed out. So the problem is, is this overwhelm and this time suck that is this job that's unfulfilling. And of course, the solution is to build something that allows you to escape that reality so that you now have time to focus it on the things that you want, not on the things that your company wants you to focus on. The third email in this sequence is a testimonial. So it's one thing for you to say it. It's one thing for you to talk about how great your product is. It's another thing for someone else, a customer of yours, a client of yours, to actually come on and tell their story. So email three is all about a testimonial. One of the things that I learned recently, when you're writing testimonials, or you're looking for testimonials from people, you don't necessarily write them or, or ask for them. That's what'll happen. You'll ask someone who you've worked with to write a testimonial and they'll come back and they'll say something like, well, what do you want me to say? Well, be honest, what worked? And there's kind of lost. So they're looking for a little bit of guidance. The way I've learned to guide people to create great testimonials that actually move the needle and, and generate more clients and sales is you want to use a testimonial that overcomes a common objection. So for me, when I'm talking about selling a course that allows people to start a lifestyle business, one of the main objections is, will this work for me? Either I don't have the time or my idea might be interesting or I don't have enough experience. Like it's, They're always looking for, all right, I'm bought in that this could work but it's not going to work for me because I'm special. I have a unique set of circumstances. And that's every single person you're ever going to meet, right? So they all have something unique. And if you've been in sales, you know that, that clients or customers, they always think that they're a little more special or unique than they really are. That's not a knock. Everyone has something unique and, and certainly personal. But when you're positioning something in an email sequence, just know 
that your most common objection is going to be your most common objection. So don't get hung up on the details or how someone might articulate that. Just focus on what that actual thing is. And for me, it's always, well, will this work for me? Or specifically, yeah, that's great, but this won't work for me. So email three is all about overcoming that. Really, really important thing here. The customer testimonial should not be about you. It needs to be about how this customer or client overcame the problem and experienced success via your brand, your service, your coaching, your course, your product, whatever it is. In terms of how to actually capture this, a testimonial email could be a note from a customer, could be a screenshot of a a social media review, it could be a video clip of them talking about their success. Anything like that works good. So don't get hung up on thinking that they all have to be, you know, have quotes around them and a little headshot icon. Like there's multiple ways to do this. And at the end of this testimonial email, you want to end by showing that success and including a really strong call to action. So I'm going to read email number three in my sequence. I want you to see uh, if you believe that I did that. All right. Hey there. If you're sitting on the fence about whether or not to register, I get it. That's why I wanted to share an actual email I got from one of my alumni. It's long, but it's really inspiring. Most importantly, it's the kind of email I hope you write me soon after you go through my course yourself and create your own, your very own successful lifestyle business. Anyway, the email is from an alumni named and I insert the name of the person. He came to me as a burnout corporate executive working in the agriculture space and needed to find a way to free up time to spend it with his young children without risking his comfortable lifestyle, let alone his family's livelihood. That's what people are really afraid of, right? Within weeks of investing in the course, he's already seeing an incredible return in all areas of his life that truly matter. And I actually insert his little testimonial there, which I won't read you in the interest of time. After that, I kind of come back to me and I say, what will be possible for you and your family when you tap into this new lifestyle? Go through the course and let's find out together. If it's not a good fit once you get started, just email me within 30 days of enrolling and I'll refund your money 100%. You deserve this, Nick. You guys are either sitting there going, oh my gosh, that's the greatest email I've ever read or you're going, oh, that's BS. Whichever it is, the science behind it is sound. So if you're skeptical, I'm a naturally skeptical person. I poke holes in everything. I get an email and I'm like, eh, I see what you're trying to do, but it doesn't work for me. If you're not that analytical, if if you're someone who is just looking for the science, pay a lot of attention here because this email is probably the most powerful. It's me admitting at the very beginning, I get that you haven't made a decision yet. I get that it's a quote unquote risk. So what do I do? I talk about the problem. I talk about someone else who they can relate to in a similar situation. I let their words speak for what they got out of the course. And then I take all the risk away by saying, hey, let's find out together if this is a good fit. If it's not, just email me and I'll pay you back. I've shown them an example of a success story that they can relate to. I've identified and been open and honest about the fact that they haven't decided to do anything just yet. And I totally understand that. No one buys on the first day. Some people do, but very few. And then at the end, I've I've taken all that risk away by offering a money back guarantee. All right, that brings us to email number four, and that's where you overcome their number one objection. The objection you overcome has to be that main one. We kind of talked about a little bit of this in the testimonial because that's how I built that testimonial was in trying to overcome that number one objection. Now, I'm doing that in a customer voice or a customer story there. In email number four, I'm actually doing it directly. When you're overcoming this objection, you have to use both empathy and authority to do that. And it's always a really good idea at the end of this email to kind of include a little PS. PS stands for postscript. This is the email era. So I don't, it's kind of silly that we even use it because you can just go back and edit an email. Whereas back in the day when you wrote a big long letter, uh, you couldn't just do that. But regardless, the PS section really pops in this email. And as I read it here in a second, I think you will understand why it's important. All right, email number four is designed to overcome their number one objection. And here it is. Hey there, the main question I get about my course is this, and I put a colon, will it work for me? I've now taken over 500 new or aspiring lifestyle business owners through the live and online versions of this program. And I have to tell you, the answer is yes. My courses work to create lifestyle businesses of all types, built by entrepreneurs of all experience, education, and income levels, including, and this is where you're going to put an example out there where they can identify and say, okay, it works for that. So built by entrepreneurs of all experience, education, and income levels, including stay-at-home parents, corporate executives, college students, teachers, artists, and musicians, former servicemen and women, hairstylists, freelancers, retail clerks, and more than one high school dropout. Kind of running the gamut there. Those are all real examples, but I'm running the gamut of anyone who might feel like, well, I don't have enough experience or I don't have enough education or I don't have this corporate executive. Awesome. There's students that have done this. There are musicians that have done this. There are people that didn't even graduate high school that have successfully used this program to build a business that they love. All right. Then the email continues. All of them come away with the same glaring truth. If I don't take control of my life now, I'll never be free. I go back to freedom because I really think at the end of the day, that's what people want. What changes when people take action? 
our relationships with our families improve. Our stress level goes down. The amount of time we spend doing things we don't want to do decreases and fulfillment, happiness, and purpose go through the roof. And then I go into this little part where I say, I actually recently did a fist pump in my home office when I got this email from one of my alumni and I copy and paste another testimonial inside this email from someone else. And I let their words kind of reiterate what I'm saying. And then I continue. My course will work for you too. Whether you want to build a coaching business or make your own greeting cards, when you take action on the lessons in the course, you will see big results in your life right away. In fact, if you can tell me about it later, I'll have another great excuse to do more fist pumps. Kind of cheesy, but somebody's going to laugh, right? But your invitation to enroll is set to expire in a few days. So make sure to register for the course today to your success, Nick. P.S. This is where I'm really super honest. I'm trying to make this decision a slam dunk for you. When you register, you'll also get two months of free access to the Lifestyle Business Owners Private Membership Portal and a 15-minute private strategy call with me. That's worth $247 and you get it for free. So a little bit of a call to action, a little bit of an incentive there. And what you'll see is that I actually introduced the idea of the cart closing or the enrollment window closing. Let's talk about that for a minute because you lifestyle entrepreneurs know for the most part that our products are digital. There's not always an inventory situation. There's not always, you know, if you're going to buy bread before a hurricane, when the bread's gone, the bread's gone, right? So those last few loaves could uh, could be gouged if it wasn't illegal, but you get the idea of the supply and the demand. When you're talking about digital products, there isn't necessarily an innate scarcity or inventory kind of situation that you need to worry about. So you need to introduce that because it's part of human psychology. If people know that there's a money back guarantee and they know that that offer is going to be there forever and they can just buy it later, guess what they're going to do? They're going to do nothing. So you have to find ways to introduce scarcity. A lot of that is strategy that goes way outside the scope of this masterclass around email. We can do another episode about that if it's something you guys are interested in. If it is, hit me up on social media or put that right in your review on iTunes or whatever app it is you're listening to the show on right now, and I will go there. But just know that that's something that, that gets put in there somewhat subtly, but also very directly. Like your invitation to register for this course is closing. This isn't going to be around forever. And then you go through the PS, you add a little bit of extra value and you invite them with that strong call to action to go ahead and join today. All right. And that brings us to email number five. This is the sales letter. It's the close. It's the one where you're going to basically say act now or forever hold your peace. A couple things to remember here, you've got to include a really direct call to action and you got to include it more than once. It's not enough to say at the top of the email, you know, link, you're like, buy now. And then like you go through four more paragraphs and you never ask for it again. Like make that call to action multiple, multiple times. So wherever they are in the email, when they decide that's the moment, they can click it and they go to your sales page. And in the sales letter, you have to be super clear and super specific when you're illustrating what success actually looks like and what your client or customer is going to experience after they buy your product or service. This one is long, but it's a sales letter. It's designed to be, they've already gotten through these last four emails. So just to recap, they opted into something. I've delivered that something. And that's in email number one. In email number two, I've identified a problem and a solution, the problem that they face and the solution that my product will solve for them. Email number three, I've actually put that in customer's words and let them overcome an objection for me via their testimonial and how they found success with the product. And then in email number four, I overcome their number one objection. So email number five is the time to bring it home, so to speak. And for those of you that are uncomfortable with sales, like there is a reason that this is the sequence. There's a reason that this is the kind of psychology that you use. So bear with me here. It's a little bit long, but it's really important. And I want you to really listen for what these words do. They're very purposeful. It's not, hey, I've got this thing and it's about to go away and it really could benefit you. And if it's not, no big deal. I'll give you money back. And then like, sure, please buy it. Like that's not what this says. So here we go. Hey there, today's the last day that you can register for my, and then the course name goes there. It's already been close to the public and your private invitation to join expires today. So it's decision time. In all the time I've been leading this course online and in person, I tend to get one question more than any other. Will this program work for me? The answer is yes. If you want to stop trading time for money and win back your freedom, then this course is for you. I teach a proven method for creating and growing profitable businesses that's been derived from working with hundreds of lifestyle entrepreneurs just like you, as well as the dozens of painful and expensive lessons I've personally learned over the last 15 years as an entrepreneur. None of us know what we don't know, and betting on yourself to do this right the first time around is an expensive and risky wager to place. With the lessons and experience from my course at their side, I've seen first-time solopreneurs transform their health, relationships, and lives by creating profitable, meaningful businesses that give them purpose, confidence, and fulfillment. If you want to build it, my course will help you build it better. And hundreds of people just like you have seen results. My courses work to create businesses of all types, built by entrepreneurs of all experience, education, and income levels, including, and I go right back through that list that I used in the 
previous email, stay-at-home parents, corporate executives, college students, hairstylists, retail clerks, and more than one high school dropout. Join me inside the course and let's get your idea dialed in, a go-to-market strategy crafted, and your product built and launched over these next two months. I can't wait to show you how achievable that goal is, even if you can't see it just yet. You're going to love the results you get. Tomorrow will be too late. Now's your chance. Register today before your invitation expires. To your success, Nick. P.S. When you register, you get two months of free access to the Lifestyle Business Owners private membership portal and a 15-minute private strategy call with me. That is the sales letter. So let's recap. The download is the very first email. So what was the lead magnet that you promised where they opt into? And just make sure that that is not overselling. Not a lot of words there. Here's the thing. This might be why you're here to get it. Regardless, you're one step closer. Kudos to you. Email two, problem plus solution. What are your clients facing or what are your your ideal customer's biggest problem? How does your solution solve it? What does that look like? Email number three is a testimonial. We're actually taking an objection or a common objection and you're pulling that out of a client success story. And you're using basically their words to do that. Email number four is where you directly overcome that number one objection. So for me, I, I told you guys, yeah, that might work, but will it work for me? So think about that. That is one place where you guys really, before you just go out and, and kind of regurgitate these sequences, you really need to think through what that objection is. And if it is, this won't work for me, why are people thinking that? In my market, I talked about it earlier, I don't have enough education or you know, I wasn't a corporate executive, so therefore I'm not qualified or I don't know, I'm not techie enough to be able to build a business. All those things basically boil down to, well, it won't work for me. And so I use that email as a way and the bullet list in, sp- in particular to make it really clear that, yeah, if you're just a teacher, no offense to teachers, that's not what I meant, but that came out weird. If you're just a teacher or you're a high school dropout or, or you're not an executive or, or you're you know, a stay-at-home parent who's now trying to re-enter the workforce in some capacity, that's cool. You don't need some special skill set. This course will give you what you need. So yes, it will work for you. And then in email number five, that is the sales letter where you actually bring it home. You kind of take the access away. You give them a little bit of a bonus and you just, you encourage and you inspire and you motivate them to take action. So here's the salesy part of that. It sounds salesy and it's very scientifically proven to actually get people to purchase because you know what? I'm not gonna apologize for it. I'm in business. I have something that can help people achieve an outcome that they want and I'm not about to apologize for telling them about that, especially once they've opted in and said, hey, I'm interested in hearing more. That's my job. That's my obligation. That is your obligation as a solopreneur also to make sure that if you have a solution that can actually help your customers, that you are putting it out there and you're doing that with confidence and clarity and you're doing it in the most direct, purposeful way possible. You're not passively putting it out there in the universe where you're like, make an Instagram post and you're like, you know, I've got this course. It's not going to work and it shouldn't work. So if you're uncomfortable with sales, If you're kind of cringing, listening to some of these emails going, oh, it seems salesy. Think about the psychology behind it. Think about the science behind it and understand why this works. And if you don't believe why it works, go back to the last product that you bought and look through what they actually did and what they offered. A lot of these things are found in big brands and are found in pretty much every product you'll ever purchase. All right, that is it. I'm assuming that you guys do not want to download this MP3, take it to Rev, pay a dollar a minute to have it transcribed, and you're probably not going to listen to it 109 times and write these things down. So what I'm going to do for you, because you guys are awesome, because I love you, you're my people, I'm going to take this email sequence and I'm actually going to turn it into a swipe file, if you will. And you're going to be able to go to nickmurphy.io slash resources, and you're going to be able to download this template with all the words and everything and all the things you need to remember. And you're going to be able to use that as a starting point as you write your five email sequence. It's going to just skyrocket your sales, make sure your conversions increase. And uh, you're just going to align yourself. Even the people that don't buy, the beauty of it is the people that don't buy still understand really clearly what you offer. And when you're ready, if there is another opportunity to purchase your course or to enroll in in a membership or whatever it is that you're offering, they're going to be much more primed and ready to buy in that first or second email and not have to wait to email five or six. All right, in the interest of full transparency, that swipe file will be on the resources page. I'm having a little bit of an issue getting the resource page via WordPress to look the way I want it to and make it easy to access the types of assets that I'm gonna put on there uh, as we continue down the path with this show. So this swipe file, if you're listening in the future, this episode will air on Thursday, May 9th. If you're listening in the future, go ahead and go to nickmurphy.io slash resources and you can go ahead and find that swipe file if you're listening on Thursday. 
It's not ready just yet. It will be. Bear with me. If you need it directly, uh, shoot me a DM, write me and review on iTunes and uh, include your email. And I will legitimately just email you this thing until I get the resource tab figured out. So that's the jam. That's the real life version of being a, a solopreneur. And I'm pretty picky. I could throw it up there and make it look stupid, but I really want this thing to pop. I want it to look good. It's really, really important. And the resources that I put on my site uh, that I talk about in these master classes really mean a lot to me because they really, truly work. So with that, I'm going to take my time on it. Make sure that it looks great. If you want it, shoot me an email, hit me a DM. I'm on Instagram. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Find me. Let me know that you heard the episode. You want the swipe file for the email sequence, and I will shoot it to you directly. All right, guys, that's it for me today. And I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you to get in the game if you're not already. Trading time for money is no way to live. You deserve to live life on your terms and building a lifestyle business is the fastest, safest, best way to do just that. I hope this was valuable. I can't wait for you guys to check out the swipe file and send these emails. When you do, let me know via iTunes, whatever app it is that you use to listen to the show. Put it right in the review. This email sequence masterclass kicked ass. This is what I did. Here was the outcome. Here's what I loved. Here's what I learned. I want to hear all of it because I really need to know if spending 35 minutes on something like this, regurgitating exactly what I've already written is worth it. Like, do you guys want this kind of content? So please, please let me know when you try it and it works or if you try it and for some reason it doesn't work. I want to know how that worked for you and what impact it made in your business. That stuff lights me up, gives me a lot of energy and kind of gets the, the idea wheel turning in terms of other very tactical, very specific episodes like this that I can do in the future to help you move the needle in your lifestyle business. I'm rambling. I'm still excited. I want to go send some emails now. So I love you guys. I will talk to you next week. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Building a Lifestyle Business Podcast. To access the resources mentioned in this episode, visit www.nickmurphy.io 